Well, guess what? Chicken butt. Chicken butts. About Multiple. seven of them all over there. Yeah, that's a lot of <laughs> You butts. may hear them a little bit in this video, but that's just the way it's gonna be. <laughs> but we're back today with a Monday mail call. And guess what? We got so much mail, we can't even open it all up in one video. So thank you, you guys. I know I've been saying all along, we can't do a mail call if we don't have mail. <laughs> well, we've got mail and we got a lot of mail and it's actually stacked up quite a bit here. We got some stuff left over from last Christmas that for some reason got lost in my mailbox. Believe it or not, yeah, I actually have a P.O. box where you guys send things so you can find it up on duckshit.net. Visit there, find the address, and you can send us stuff if you'd like. And way in the back of it, because I don't check it that often, usually it's just kind of handed to me when I walk in the door, um, some things were misplaced from last Christmas. So we're going to open them today and see what kind of excitement we got. In addition to that, we got another thing here. Um, looks like something from Rock Hobby. We got another lost package that reappeared. And I got a birthday gift. And yes, it is my birthday. Um, a little late, but <laughs> it's, as it's the story related. goes, again, a uh, little shuffling and action, things got lost in the communication, and my birthday gift from one of our sponsors came a little bit late. <laughs> my birthday was actually back in September, but we're still very, very thankful to get anything at all, so we're really appreciative. Mm -hmm. Well, let's open up the first thing. I think we should do one of the Christmas cards first. Let's do, let's do that one. This one? That one. Okay. Wait, is it that one? This no, one. No, this one. That one. Okay. Who's from it from? Tony and Heather. Tony and Heather. What's their last name there? Estvander? Estvander? S Estvander. Est Est yeah, probably. Estvander. Was it an American address? Yeah. It is, okay. From Huntington, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Got some excitement here. Oh, look, a stamp. Mm -hmm. It's a Christmas stamp. Or USA Forever stamp. All right. All right, look at that. Oh, Christmas. something's falling oh. out. We caught it. Mary? Oh, I know who this is. <laughs> Very nice. That was the giveaway. <laughs> all right. Wishing you all the merry moments and jolly joys of the season. Merry Christmas, my friend. I hope your new year is very fruitful. Tony and Heather. This has been the fruitiest year of my life. Hi. That's it. I got two boyfriends in Cal California. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not that gay. <laughs> I got two boyfriends in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> but two? this is from yeah with Jody and his his boyfriend oh. you know the three of us are oh, yeah. are the three bears now <laughs> like a little polycule <laughs> three one. three little bears but this is Slade's Slade's uh how do you call himself Slade's Beetle link down below in the video description you guys he does have a YouTube channel he works on Volkswagen stuff he's a really really nice guy and I've been trying to send him a gift but I keep getting whacked for copyrights on my gift <laughs> they they won't make it and send it to him. Isn't it stupid? That's weird. It's so stupid. I keep having problems with copyrights on a gift. It's like, it's a gift. I'm not selling these things. This is a gift. No, it's copyrighted. So anyway, I have to find some vendor that's going to be a scab that will I make agree. me a gift that I can send off to Slade. So yeah, Slade's Volkswagen stuff. Check him out. Link down below in the video description. Really, really nice guy. Well. Let's open up the next one. This, I believe, is another lost Christmas card. The next Christmas one. Card. Yeah, it's another lost Christmas card. From Shanti. Shanti. Shanti is a really good friend of mine uh, on, uh, I think we met through YouTube, but we talked mostly on Instagram. She's also got ducks and chickens, and I think she's got lizards and spiders and things like that, too. Lots of spiders, for sure. Christmas joy. Christmas joy. And she says... Oh, wow. We got oh, a book. Yep, we got a book. All right. Dearest Glenn... This might reach you after Christmas yeah, since, did. You, <laughs> since you choose to be so far away. I hope you, Boomer, and the chickens have a lovely holiday filled with pie, stuffing, and turkey farts. Don't, for, don't forget to record and share these momentous holiday farts. She's the operator of the fart club I was telling you about. Ah, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you put up a tree and give the bird stockings? I can imagine you doing this. I have a special soft spot in my heart for you because I see how much you adore your critters. Aww. You light up every time you interact uh, with or talk about them. That's true. I wish you all the best for the coming year, now and always. Remembering you warmly this holiday season and wishing you all the merriest. Love, Shanti. Oh, I got me Christmas cards. Thank yes. you, Shanti. Uh, Shanti's Tarantulas, I believe it is on Instagram. Check her out if you like to see some stuff. She's got, um, I can't call them tame spiders because I don't know if you can really tame a spider. I mean, maybe you can. But she does all kinds of different things with them. She breeds them. She 
does spider stuff. Which That's cool. Is, yeah, it's really cool. It's different. I want to go follow her. It's, it's really yeah. Check her out. I'm it's watching. really different. I mean, she she posts these close up photos of these spiders, and you wouldn't think of spiders being beautiful. Some of them are so they are. elaborately colored and, mm -hmm. and little fuzzy things. You, you think you want to pet them? I mean, normally you see one, ah, spider. Bah! No, but they're actually cute. <laughs> they are. They get real close up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she does her spider things. So check her out. Links down below in the video description. Okay. All right. Well. Before we get to anything else, is there anything you'd like to share? Because it's actually been a little while since we did a live video together. Everything's always pre-recorded clips. No. What's well, new in your life? Anything? Just everything's crazy. Paperwork. 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 Work. She's been buried in paperwork. Having fun with paperwork. Ugh, oh, that's a yeah, that's a nice yeah. Way to say I've been it. busy with with uh, I hate to say it, partying. <laughs> I have no time to make videos because I keep partying for the last two weeks. I've been buried, <laughs> just absolutely buried at my day job. So. Oh, man. Sorry, guys. Well, as always, you can find us on our social media links, which are up on duckshit.net. So please don't ask where to find these things. Please hit up the website, duckshit.net. You can find Bee's YouTube, her Instagram, any other social media things that she does. Uh, our Patreons are there. You can also find the Duckman wish list. You have a wish list? I have a wish list. Tell I'm, us about I'm your totally wish list. a cam girl now. <laughs> People have asked for years, can we help you with projects? We want to know what you want. Can you please share a wish list with us of the things that you're going to be building? And I hate to do that because it kind of gives away spoilers. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if somebody's going to contribute, then I don't care if there's spoilers. Because some of this stuff is really expensive. You know, I mean, I put thousands and thousands of dollars every year into building projects. And you know, okay, they're for me. I get it. You know, you don't want to necessarily build the thing for me. But you're not actually building it for me. You're helping me to make videos quicker. Because yes. the faster I can get these products together and the faster I can put the money together for these things, the faster I can share something for the YouTube. And and people have, so far have sent a lot of stuff out. And I believe some of it is going to be in our next mail call because we got so much we can't open it up all in one week. So we'll be doing some more coming up very shortly. <laughs> so we're going to jump into the next thing right after okay. we start our intro. So once again, licky, likey, comment, subscribe. And we'll be back right after that intro. Pew, pew. Boop, boop. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Did you get? Did you? That's all, folks. Try it again. <laughs> did you enjoy that intro? I did. Oh, it was really fancy, wasn't it? Whack, 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 and here we are. Yeah, and we're back. <laughs> Sound like something Boomhauer would have said. I don't know. <laughs> all right, what well, we got there? Right up on top. Right up on top. This is another lost package. Yes. This is something that's actually disappeared from quite some time ago. Ooh, yes. This is from Alan. Alan, right. He says, hello, Duckman. Love your videos. Here are some fun things to do. Fun things to a couple of your cars. Ah, he's from Denmark. Yeah. Really nice guy. He actually contacted me through my Facebook page because um, he was wondering why we didn't open the mail and I didn't even know it was sent. We got, what are they? Duck bag. That's a duck bag? Yeah. That sounds like an insult. Maybe. <laughs> What's in the duck bag? Ducks. Ducks? What kind of ducks are they? Rubber ducks. Yeah, but what do they do? They're probably for your antenna. Uh, actually... Oh, they're tires! Yes, that's oh. exactly what they're for. Oh! Little... Little... Duckalitos. <laughs> Check them oh, out. And they go on tire valve stem, so you stick valve stem right up their butts. So, they're gonna go immediately on a go-kart. No! Oh, flying everywhere. Oh, Ooh, it's hard to keep a grip on oh, them. My knees. <laughs> That's that uh, 3D printed plastic, which is slippery, slippery stuff. But that's really cool. Thank you so much, Alan. And I apologize for making you wait so much to watch us open this because that box just disappeared. It really it disappeared. And then when it, of course, reappeared, we weren't able to do mail call for a few weeks. So there it is. I appreciate that so much. And we'll be using these things on some of my vehicles very shortly. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Okay, what we got there? Happy birthday! Oh, show them! Not Happy me. birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! This is from Centineau. <laughs> this is some wonderful hazel and cream sweet confection chocolates. 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 <laughs> and I'm excited to eat these because I think they're like chocolate coated pretzels and I don't stuff. Know, let's see. Which I discovered over Christmas because I got some on clearance from the Walmart. The Walmart. The Walmart. Mm -hmm. um, 
They were like the most favorite thing I ever had. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's check this package. Uh oh. Uh oh. You broke it. Well, yeah, because it's oh, taped to the. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. But now you have a birthday sash. Oh, it's my birthday! Yeah, birthday boy. <laughs> All right. What we got in there? Oh, oh it my. is. Oh my. Look at that. Look at that. We got blueberry, mm -hmm. raspberry, yogurt, show them. and peanut butter covered pretzels. Okay, I'm gonna get behind the camera and do a little close up of it. Do it. Hell yeah. Look at that. Oh, just zoom right on in there. Just get that. <laughs> get it open and ready. Hollywood magic. Hollywood magic. Hollywood Hogan. Oh. Mm. I'm so excited. <laughs> you look excited. <laughs> I love chocolate coated pretzels so much. All right, so they're all open and ready for you. Oh, again, sounds like a party. Bust it. Bust it? Bust it. Bust it. Get it. All right. All right, which one do you want to try first? I'm a peanut butter nut too. Get it. I love peanut butters. What do you want to try first? I kind of want to try that blueberry. I hit the blueberry one. That's the one I smell the most. Yeah. That one really stands out. Ooh. Ah, peanut butter. Peanut buttery. Mm. Blueberry. -y. Is it really sweet? It's not as sweet as I anticipated, which yeah, I like. It's mildly sweet. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of nice. It's not overpowering. You I believe it's actually um, like a yogurt. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Well, here's the set. Is it plain yogurt? Yeah. I want to try peanut butter now. Mmm. Ooh, I like that one. The peanut butter? It's good. Yeah, with the salt. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh. Mmm. I'll call it. A little blueberry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one has the strongest smell of it. Mmm. But see, it's not super sweet. It's not overpowering. But it it's good. Ooh. It tastes blue. <laughs> Not bad idea. Okay, yeah. very good. All right. And then, no, we're hitting the same one at the same time. Cheers. Whoa! I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow. That one was a surprise. That might These be my favorite. Much more subdued, but the raspberry really pops. Maybe I have some smell, not the blue. Mmm. That one's good. That is good. I mean, again. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah. Ah. Don't be afraid. It might be my birthday, but I share. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> I like food. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. I gotta agree with you on that one. Hmm. I also just like the plain yogurt. I figured I would like the peanut butter most, because usually I'm a peanut butter nut, but... Raspberry, definitely. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Those are good. Mm -hmm. These would be mm -hmm. good in a trail mix with like chocolate. It would just be good in some vanilla ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> you can make a milkshake and crunch them up on top. Oh. It'd be like a salted peanut butter milkshake. An assaulted one. A salted. A salted. It's gonna assault my mouth. <laughs> it's gonna assault my stomach. Uh oh. Yeah. Lactose intolerance. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, that one. It crunch some of those up and put them on top of like a one of the salted caramel milkshakes. Mm. Doesn't that sound good? Yeah. Even if we just went by Whataburger and grab one of them salted caramel milkshakes and then just throw that on the way home. Yeah. Don't be afraid, get more. <laughs> those are really good. Oh, that good. was a great gift. <laughs> Links down below in the video description to these guys. Again, they are a sponsor. They did send me this for free, so I do appreciate it very, very much. Mm -hmm. So check them out. Yummy. Nope, that's a doubly. Oh, nope, it's a singly. It broke. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. You realize my head's kind of cut off. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Well, you could also get like a. Like a chocolate milkshake with these mm -hmm. would also be really good. 
or eat them with M and M's. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Would also just be good with like a rum and cola. Yeah. Well, I'll quit eating them so you have enough to experiment with. What kind of experimentation do you think I'm getting on? Ice cream. <laughs> the best kind. <laughs> Mm. Very good. Mm. Where'd you put that lid? It's underneath. Oh! Mm. Yeah, those are very, very good. Most excellent. Mm hmm. So, if you'd like to give the gift of gift pretzels, mm -hmm. I recommend them. <laughs> Duck Man approved. Let's see what else we got in our mail today. Bring me the mail. You want me to move that? Bring me back that filet of fish over there. I gotta put this where the ants aren't gonna get it because they'll be quick. No ants. No ants. No ants. No ants. No ants. No ants. All right. <laughs> now this one. This one, we think we know where it's from. You sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. I'm excited. What have we got? Run amok. Run amok. Uh, it's got bug wings on it. Yeah. Like a cicada. Oh wing. no! It's uh, they're the little helicopters from maple trees. Here's a note. It says, "A gift for you. Enjoy your gift." That's it. Enjoy your gift. Enjoy your gift. Enjoy your all. gift. Yeah, it is a new run amok maple merquin infused maple syrup. Oh, oh, oh! This is what it is. Run amok maple Merquin infused maple syrup, authentic real Vermont maple syrup, chili infused. Great spice for any dot 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 miscellaneous. This is from Jody. Jody was telling me that he got me something, and I'm sure this is what it is because Jody listens to this kind of stuff. He knows I like hot and spicy. He always sends me the hot sauces. And being, you know, Canadian, <laughs> maple syrup seems to make a lot of sense. I'll back up while she's got something sharp. Yep. She stabbed me a number of times. You guys have seen that. <laughs> we need a compilation. A compilation of stabbing? Yes, insert compilation here. <laughs> You're gonna need a montage. A montage. Yeah. Ooh, there it is. Ooh, there it is. Smoked chili pepper infused. Ooh, you got a recipe card in here too. Hell yeah. All right. That is in a heavy, dense glass bottle too. Sweet sweet potato and tahini dip with spicy merken drizzle or spicy sweet coleslaw. Now this one has a little accent on it. Infused with you're saying smoked chili dehydrated coriander seeds, Ooh. cumin. That's yes. odd for, yeah, cumin. I do like uh, Gotta get in here. I'm gonna have to have a shot of it. <laughs> Whoa. That's a surprise. Ooh. Yeah, that is a surprise. It's like both mapley, but kind of like hot saucy kind of. I can smell the smoke, yeah. like the smoky. It's like a sweet, smoky hot sauce. Best way to describe it. Yeah, just put a little in the cap and I'll just dip it. I'm curious how hot it is. <laughs> That's good. Is it good? Oh yeah. Bottoms up. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's a late heat. Hits you a little late. Oh, that's unique. There it is. That is really unique. Yeah. The heat doesn't hit right away. It's sweet and then the smoky, and then you get a little bit of a, not a burn, but like that little spicy tingle. Yeah, it, it's it's a little spicy, but it fades quick too. Yeah. It, it's like, it's like, a, like somebody gave you a light slap. <laughs> this would be really good. So sometimes we cook with maple. Yeah. This would be really good in, um, in food? Yes. We make jackfruit tacos. And this would be really good. I have to... never had jackfruit in my life. Oh, it's so good. So young jackfruit mm -hmm. um, will absorb like whatever flavor you put with it. And it's kind of stringy, so it has a consistency of pulled pork. Oh. So you can make vegetarian tacos. Thanks, Biddy. With it. <laughs> you make vegan 
like pulled pork That's with it and it's actually really good so we've made i've never had that i didn't even know what the texture was like yeah we've made jackfruit tacos with now like ripe jackfruit doesn't have that texture but like young unripe jackfruit hmm. yeah has that texture and you can make pulled pork they do it at one of the vegan restaurants around here you know what though i can't share it with rob no rob got hospital well, hospitalized because he ate jackfruit in his face we have oh he's allergic okay. yeah <laughs> and shortly after that he started having issues with peanuts too so i don't know if those are related in any way but yeah he had the problem and then the problem expanded and he started having some really serious issues i mean his photos were terrible of his face swelling on one oh, side goodness. and his whole face puffed out and he couldn't breathe and yeah he uh managed to get some some um antihistamines in him but when he was in the pharmacy swelling up like that the pharmacist had an epipen who was gonna stab him just in case they had to <laughs> but yeah. he survived that one <laughs> you could you could use this with a pulled pork that'd be really good like a maple maple pulled pork or on bacon I still taste it mm -hmm. isn't that good yeah it's really good I'm gonna take a picture of that before I leave today because I'm gonna order some for me. Good pick on that, Jody. Excellent. Links down below in the video description if you guys want one. It appears it did come from Amazon, so if you click the link, you guys are supporting me. I think they'll send me 50 cents or something like that for purchase. So mm -hmm. I appreciate that, Jody. This is a uh, this is probably the best one you've sent yet <laughs> of all the stuff we got. And this this one is the tastiest. I, I really appreciate this one more than you know. Now I got to figure out what I'm gonna put it on. We'll have to have a taco night. We'll invite you over for a taco night. We'll make them. We'll make you jackfruit tacos with the with mm. that. So it's gonna be bring your own syrup night. Oh, uh, we'll we'll get some <laughs> and we'll cook it that way. I know, but just yeah. bring your own syrup night. I can bring other stuff too. B Y O S. Yeah. Bring your own syrup. Sweet and spicy vinaigrette, and that sounds like it'd be good in there. Yeah, see, I'm not a huge fan of coleslaw. Well, but the other one, the flip side, looked really good. It's like a tahini, uh, like a dip. You see, I, I love cabbage. I love shredded cabbage. I love cooked cabbage. I don't like coleslaw. And I don't really care for sauerkraut. I'm on the fence about that. Mm -hmm. So there's a funny thing about cabbage is that once you, you start doing certain things to it, it just it ruins it. So when you go to a restaurant and they give you a little cup of coleslaw, man, I throw that on my soul <laughs> shoulder. It's terrible. I tell them to keep yeah. it. Yeah, throw it at them. But once yep. in a while, I'll find a restaurant that actually do make a good one. So, I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. But people down here in the South, they just love it. Like cheese in the everything. north and throw it away. <laughs> well, we're very, 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 very appreciative of that one. Wow. Okay. Well, let's do the next package. You ready? Yes. Let's push this out the way. Yes. If you don't want that recipe card, I will keep it, by the way. Uh, I'll photograph and give it to you. Yeah, because I will, we will make that tahini. <laughs> tahini. Mm -hmm. Biddy, you're the main ingredient. I'll make soup out of you. Chops the snatchios. Mm hmm. <laughs> snatchios? Snatchios. Oh my god, they're going crazy. All right. Okay, and we got one more, which we'll be making a video of this one in the very, very near future. This one, I'm going to open this one. You do that. You're going to let me do that? Yeah. Good lord. Everybody at the same time. Everybody chime in. They all want to play with the new toy. I know exactly what's in here, and this is from Rock Hobby and, uh, um, oh geez. This isn't their actual commercial. <laughs> Thankfully. Probably good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, FMS Hobby. You might remember the RC Volkswagens we had before. Yeah, after you started doing yours, I started seeing them everywhere. Yep, they marketed them pretty hard. This is the first one that they've done in a civilian model. Ooh. That's interesting. The manual is outside the box. <laughs> it's a civilian model, very similar to the uh, Kubelwagen or the Kommandoswagen that we had before. In fact, I believe everything, most everything, is going to be the same on it. So we're going to do a complete review of this coming up. Wow, it's a convertible. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, it's got a rag top. Split window, little pieces of foam. Are we missing a bumper? Oh, it's in the box. Yeah. Okay. It made it separate, which is probably good because you remember Boomer broke the bumper off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the little stickers come separate too. And I think this is, yeah, it looks like they universalized the chassis because there's the hole. 
where the anti-aircraft light would have gone for the uh, the, the commander's wagon. Mm -hmm. But this is really cool. Really, really cool. Check that out, guys. Civilian model with chrome bumper, chrome wheels, nice hubcaps, standard Volkswagen chassis. The motor is in the back, just like a Volkswagen. All the drive stuff is here. It is, uh, I would call it a swing axle. This one actually appears it has double joints in it, so it's an IRS, which is pretty cool. Uh, it actually has a torsion style beam. That's amazing. The amount of detail they put in these is just amazing. Even the door handles work, and you can actually open the door. So we'll be demonstrating this in the very, very near future. We'll have links down below in the video description, of course, if you want to purchase one now. But this will have its own video coming up. Isn't that cool? Super cool. I'm excited to see the rag top come on. I don't think it does. No? No, not without removing screws and stuff. Ah. Yeah, it's for look only. Okay. It should have the gummy seats in it, though. Remember the seats had that soft yes. gummy feel? Yes. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Oh yeah, you can take it off with the screws. It's screwed in place. Yeah. Tiny screws. That's cool. Or is it melted in place? Yeah, no, it's <laughs> welded in there. Plastic yeah. weld. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, perma weld. That's okay. Yeah. I mean, you can remove it if you wanted to. You can always just cut the plastic weld. Oh. Cut these out of here. Ooh. I don't remember this many protective bits on the other ones. Looking at the headlights. Yeah. We're gonna do a little commercial on this guy. Before you leave today, actually, we'll uh, have you do the prices right stuff with it, and then I'll do the same commercial as last time. Yeah. Oh, shit. Almost dropped it. Oh, shit. Yeah, one more here. Oh, it's taped closed. Yeah. Probably so it doesn't flap open. Yeah. You yeah, want yeah. some of the fingernails to do that? I've got it, but it's gummy. Probably should be sticking it to the box. <laughs> Shut up, Biddy! You skid mark. Not the skid mark. He is a skid mark. <laughs> that was a smart way to do it. There you go. Skidmark. Skidmark McGee. Skidmark's McGee. Go. I had an ex that called me Tits McGee. Tits McGee? Yes. David had an ex that is, called herself that. Or Busty St. Clair. Busty St. Clair? That actually was an actress. Mm -hmm. Porn model. Well, just a nude model. Porn model, but still. King Kong. Okay. Well, there it is. Hold it like a baby. <laughs> so funny. We're very, very thankful to have this to review, and we will in its own separate independent video coming up in the very, very near future. These things are fun. They're really, really fun. And I can't wait to decorate my whole shelf with them, too. I'm gonna have a little FMS hobby shelf set up in the shop. Very nice. Yeah, I'm gonna have all these little cars set up, and I'm sure they're probably gonna wind up doing more. They had given me a little insider on that uh, last summer when they really revealed the first cards to me. And I'm so, so happy for them. Just thankful, very thankful. Thank you guys over at FMS. Really appreciate that, and we'll be doing a commercial soon. Well, before we wrap up this video, anything else you'd like to share? No. No? No. I still taste that syrup, I want more. It's so good. <laughs> it's really good, that was remarkably good. May not be good with the pretzels, but it would be, it's so oh. good. Oh. Except the peanut butter. Well, the plain one probably could go in there too. We should try that for science. All right, we're trying something for science. Okay. Before we wrap it up today. <laughs> you know what? Let's make sure he goes in there. Ah, uh, yes, we don't lose him. It actually has a spot. Ooh. Okay, we're doing this for science. This is for science. Completely scientific. Totally, totally. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, it already dripped. It was excited to see you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, here's how we're going to do this. Oh, 
Yeah, that would be smart. <laughs> mm -hmm. To science. Science. Oh yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama's jumping on top of shit over here. That is good. Mm -hmm. The yogurt subdued the um the heat spice, yeah. Oh, it just means you need to put more on it. <laughs> yeah. Try it with the peanut butter. Mmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That brought out the pepper more, actually. Yeah. Oh, no. Hi, Biddy. You want pretzel? Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah. It brought out the pepper in it. What do you think? Think food would work in there too? I might. Like, you can try it. Mm. <laughs> like a little piece because I don't think it's going to be. You got a big little piece. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be great. You don't think it's going to be great? No. I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be the best thing you had all week. I don't know about that. It might be. <laughs> the chickens are playing with it instead of eating it. Uh oh, she's making faces. Something's going on. Nope. It's not bad, it's just. It clashed. No. Mm -mm. It was an unusual clash, though. Yeah. Because the fruitiness came on after. <laughs> it's very weird. Try it one more time. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> nope. But it was good with the peanut butter. Get in the razzle now. Ugh. Come on, gotta do it. Alright. For science. <laughs> For science. Break me off a piece. Break me off a piece of that. Oh, I couldn't have done that first, but it did. Oh, well. Ruin my palate. You biddies over here, you want that some. That one's not as bad. That one doesn't clash as bad. That adds a nice sweetness to it. Because the fruit's so much more intense. I feel about the same as the blueberry. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, it's... Not, it's just not. It just doesn't seem like it belongs together. No. <laughs> I'm like threatening now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he can't find it. On his toe and he can't find it. Yeah, well now it's behind him. Bitty oh, dove head. There you go. Kinda close. He says, uh uh. Mom will come steal it up. She's a hood chicken. <laughs> yeah, I see you guys. You guys came over to bother us. I'm eating my pretzels. Well, their mama approved. Would you come over so I can make you soup? Oh! Thanks for ruining the camera view there. <laughs> I guess that means the show's over. Thanks, guys, for watching. Licky, likey, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to plug that dingle belly so get updates every time I upload a video. And check out Duck Shit down there for all my different social media links. <laughs> right, Biddy? Oh, that's a stinky one. And hopefully we'll get a chicken video coming up soon, too. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you next time.